Hey guys, welcome back. So five days ago, Emma Chamberlain relaunched her coffee company, Chamberlain Coffee, and released several new flavors. I reviewed her coffee the first time around and I actually thought it was pretty good. I raved about how unique the steeped coffee bags were and how it was something that I had never seen before. But with this new launch, she's selling coffee beans and grounds as well. So I thought that that was a big upgrade from the last time. And I feel like that makes her company look a little bit more professional. Like she was just testing out the waters with the steep coffee bag, but I feel like she's going all in on this one, baby. So I'm excited, I'm so excited to try what I got. I recently bought a French press, so that's how I've been making my coffee these days. So I decided to purchase the Original Family Blend and the Night Owl Blend, which both came out to a total of $50 with tax and shipping fees. She came out with four new flavors, as well as a coffee bag version of the original flavor she first released. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that until after I had purchased it, so I thought I would be trying two new flavors for you guys, when in reality, I'm only gonna be trying one new flavor. I'm gonna be focusing primarily on the night owl blend in this video so if you guys are interested and you want to see the original family blend and my thoughts on that I will leave the link in the description for the first video that I made reviewing that coffee flavor but I think that's enough of an introduction I'm very excited I am ready to unbox this coffee and see what it's all about Okay, so here it is, the Night Owl Blend. When I watched Emma's video, she specifically raved about this one and said that it was her favorite. So I figured, why not try the one that the creator herself thinks is the best? So the packaging looks like this, good vibes only. The notes of this one says, it is a dark roast, creamy and rich. It sounds so good, but let's see how it smells. Last time, the smell hit me so hard and it smelled so good. So I want to see if this is going to be the same. Oh, it smells good. I could smell it already. Hold up. Mm. Coffee just makes me so happy and the smell of it. Instant serotonin. Mmm. You guys, this smells so good. I'm really excited to try it. With that being said, let's make some coffee. Welcome to the coffee corner in my room. So like I said, I've been making my coffee every morning with a French press. This is the one I have. I got it from Target. It was like 25 bucks. It came with the French press, a timer, a little hand scoop to measure out the exact coffee grounds you'll need. And it even came with a milk frother. Look at that. Speed. Don't ever. <laughs> I'm a professional, okay? Don't try me. Don't. I haven't exactly mastered what I like and what I don't like with this French press. So when I make cold brew sometimes, it just, sometimes it just doesn't hit. And lately, I don't know who I am, but hot coffee has been doing it for me. So I think it's only fair that I try this coffee out as a cold brew and as a hot latte. But first we gotta make the cold brew because it has to sit overnight. So I just added four scoops of the coffee grounds. You're supposed to add a scoop of grounds for every cup of water, and we're gonna be using four cups of water to fill this up. I'm just using some purified water. That makes it taste the best. A little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect! Mmm. Don't you just love the smell of coffee in the morning? And then all that's left to do is put the top on. Don't press the coffee yet. We're gonna let this sit overnight, either on the counter or on the fridge. I'll see you guys tomorrow while this baby steeps overnight. Good morning. It is the next day and it's time to taste test the coffee. I'm just gonna press our coffee. I watched my video last night reviewing her first ever launch with steeped coffee bags and I took into consideration what I personally liked because the first time I followed her exact coffee recipe and so this time I feel like I should modify it to my liking in order to have the best outcome. So I said in my video that I would have preferred oat milk 
as opposed to almond milk. And I also said that the Nut Pods creamer that she used and suggested was not sweet. Um, I don't think it had a flavor. So to give me that sweetness that I wanted, I'm gonna be using the new Starbucks almond milk and oat milk inspired hazelnut latte creamer. I'm excited, I'm scared, I'm nervous. I want it to be good. Fingers crossed. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I added too much milk or creamer. I can't really taste the coffee. I'm gonna add a little bit more coffee. Felt like I needed a little bit more coffee flavor. Let's taste it now. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. I can definitely taste that it is a darker roast. It does taste strong, but I feel like the creamer and the oat milk that I use kind of balances that out. I love my coffee on the stronger side with a bit of sweetness, and this is giving me very much that. Tastes very smooth, very rich. The flavor is very rich. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. I can't stop drinking it. It's really good. So it's been like two or three days since I first tried this coffee out and since then I've had it a couple more times and I have definitely figured out what I like and I definitely added too much milk the first time around. The last couple times that I've had it, I only used creamer and it tasted phenomenal. It tasted so good. It tasted rich. It tasted high quality. It tasted like money. I love it. That Starbucks creamer that I used does the job perfectly fine. It gives it the sweetness. It gives it the milk flavor. So, so good. But like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys also how I make it hot and showing you my opinions on that. So that's going to be what you see next. That's good. That's real good. Cheers. So before I give my final review, let's talk about some key points and final thoughts. The rebranding, the packaging, I think it is so much better than what she originally came out with. I didn't really like the lips logo that she had going on. I liked the baby pink packaging, but I didn't think that it was very personal. It felt like it was just kind of like slapped on there. I didn't really scream. Emma and I feel like in a way this does I feel like definitely this font is very Emma Chamberlain this like weird Quirky little animal is definitely her. I think the rebrand suited her very well I feel like her adding the coffee grounds and coffee beans made her coffee company seem more legit more grown-up and appealed to serious coffee connoisseurs if you will okay so let's talk about shipping so shipping was a big scandal the first time around when she launched some people were complaining that they hadn't gotten it weeks after they had placed their order even up to a month that wasn't the case for me so i can't really speak on that but i had received my package within a week of ordering it this time around i have noticed personally that they have been so fast with their shipping. I felt like I was ordering off of Amazon Prime because I received my first package in four days and my second package on the fifth day. It was less than a week for shipping, which is amazing considering COVID is delaying a lot of orders right now at the moment, so shipping is going a lot slower than usual. Hopefully you guys experience the same thing and you guys are getting your orders already. But yeah, major upgrade. I feel like the customers are gonna be really, really happy with that. As far as the coffee itself, I think that this is 100% worth the $20. However, Ever. these bitches are expensive okay this is not your everyday coffee this is not oh I ran out of coffee I need to buy more let me just hop on to chamberlaincoffee.com like you're not gonna 
Well, I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> that's for sure. $25 per bag is very steep. This is definitely only something that I would purchase because it has Emma's name on it, because I like her, I like her content. Um, I do like her coffee, I, I like her ideas. So that is why I purchased this, but I can get cheaper coffee grounds at my local store, so there's no need to really hop online and pay an extra $5 for shipping and fees. So with that being said, do with that information what you will. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I would love to answer them for you. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for new videos every single week. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.